We are going to read Buenas Noches Luna. Many of you have probably read this before as Good Night Moon. But we are going over our three times of day. Buenos dias, buenas tardes, and buenas noches. And look at there's Buenas Noches right on the cover. And then it has Luna. And we've been talking about shapes. We talked about media, luna, the half moon. There's that word, luna. So I'm going to read this book to you. Buenas noches, luna. Por Margaret Wise Brown. Ilustrado por Clement Hurt. Now, as we read this story, everybody needs to be quiet. No sounds. All right, here we go. En la gran habitación verde hay un teléfono, un globo rojo y un cuadro. <gasps> On this first page, I see some words we know. It says habitación verde. What's verde? Green. green. The green room, la habitación verde. And then it also says a globo rojo. What's rojo? Red. Yes, it's talking about the red balloon. It says, in the green room, there is a telephone, a red balloon, and a picture. I see two pictures. Do you see the two pictures right here and right there? Let's see. So the two pictures. De una vaqui uh, vaquita que salta sobre la luna. Of a cow that jumps over the moon. Mr. Hodge! Pedro, why are you interrupting? Because you know what? Not only can cow jump over the moon, but I can I can jump over Luna. Watch. Ready? One. Because I am an Asbury tumbling team, you know. Here we go. One, two, three, go! I jump over moon! Mm. Um, y otro más con tres ositos sentados en sus sillas. And another with three bears sitting in their chairs. All right. Dos gatitos juguetones. Uno, dos. Oh, gatito, calm down. She is a little bit mad because she is feeling left out, Mr. Hutch. Why don't you say tres gatitos? Why only dos gatitos? All right, let me try again. Tres gatitos juguetones. Dos calcetines en dos mitones. Y un cepillo y un gran peine y papilla en un tazón. That says, and a brush and a big comb and porridge in a bowl. Y una amable viejecita que teje muy calladita. And a nice little old lady that is knitting quietly. Now, here we go. Buenas noches, habitación. Good night, room. Buenas noches, luna. Buenas noches, vaquita que salta sobre la luna. <coughs> oh, and buenas noches, piro que salta sobre la luna. All right. Buenas noches, lamparita. Good night, lamp. Buenas noches, globo rojo. Good night, red balloon. Buenas noches, tres ositos. Buenas noches, tres sillas. Buenas noches, gatitos. Buenas noches, lindos mitones. Buenas noches, relojes. Buenas noches, calcetines. Good night, clocks. Good night, socks. Oh, you can listen how it rhymes in English. 
Buenas noches, casita. Good night, house. Buenas noches, ratoncito. Close. Buenas noches, peine. Buenas noches, cepillo. Buenas noches, nadie. That's my favorite page. It says, good night, nobody. And there's nobody there. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Mr. Hodge. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We will fix this page because there is nobody on page. But I have I have solution. I have solution. Um, Buenas noches, John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> Buenas noches, papilla. Buenas noches, viejecita. Que te has tan calladita. Good night, little old lady that is knitting so quietly. Woo! This book make me really tired. I need to go to bed. Oh, I forgot to put fire out. I don't want to burn down my house. I have to go put fire out. Hello, old lady. All right, let's go to next. Buenas noches, estrellas. That's a vocab word. Buenas noches, cielo. Good night, sky. Buenas noches, ruidos. Buenas noches, tierra. But one minute. Buenas noches, peeps. Go to bed. Over there. Good. El fee. Oh, it's pretty good, but I could do better. Well, Piro, if you could do better, then you need to show us. You need to write your book. Mr. Hodge, do you think that I have time for writing books? I am so busy. I have Asbury tumbling, and I have my cereal to produce. Piro O's. I don't have time to write book. <laughs> 